there, I'm Lisa Harless. I'm a private wealth advisor with Regions Bank. And today I am chatting with a dear friend and a great guest, Mr. Tim Nichols. How are you? I'm great. Introduce yourself. Just who are you? I'm a songwriter here in Nashville, as you know, and, and we have been friends for years and years and years. And so um, it's good to be with you today. You and I have something in common in that we both got our careers started in the music industry in the 80s. Right. So now that you've done it this long, what do you do to stay fresh and relevant and energized? You know, I think the main thing for me that keeps me still energized and getting up every day is just as I still love it so much as, as I did when I signed my first publishing deal with Ronnie Millsap's publishing company back in 1986. I still love it. I look forward to writing a song every day. And, and these days, I really look forward to and enjoy writing with the newer writers coming up. And, I, and, that, and that keeps me on my game and young. And I feel like, you know, music to a degree is the fountain of youth. So I just feel like the being in the music business tends to keep t t tends to keep a fellow younger. And to see the next generation of talent come along, it does keep you energized. It really and, does and focused. Absolutely. So I'm get, I'm sure as a banker, I have to ask ask questions like this. But I bet there are financial things that you've learned along the way, and you said, "Oh, dang! I wish I'd known that a little bit sooner to help me in my career." I feel like. It's the importance of a team, of building a team. That's true. And whether it be, uh, in I mean, in this case, Regions is one of one of my the the pillars of my team. So you want to you want to find a good banker, which would be you. Thank you. You want to find a good attorney. You want to find a good CPA. And so, because I mean, these days, I think now more than ever, you know, life and, and business matters and uh, and money matters are complicated. Absolutely. You know, money matters are complicated. And I feel like before any before any success, before Ronnie Millsap recorded my first song, or I guess maybe about that time's probably when we when we met. Probably was. When I had, you know, got to the point it's like, okay, I'm gonna have a few royalties coming in. I need to I need help figuring out what to do with how you know, how much to put up for taxes, how much to save, all, all of that business. Right. And and you were there at really square one. And at what point in this career that you're describing did you go, you know what, I think I can make a living here and have money to pay taxes and cover the rent and the utilities? At what point did you see, okay, I can do this professionally? For me, along my path, I, was, I would see enough positive. I would get a little, a little, a little small boost. victory along that the way to where it was it, it kept me going to thinking to make me think I could do this and a, and so and a couple of years before my dad passed away he was at the house and he was around for live like you were dying and so he was looking at the you know there was the grammy and the cma award and the, and all those things and he said did you ever think this could happen and i oh. said and i said Yes, I absolutely thought it could happen. But what he didn't remember was the reason that I thought it could happen was because years ago, before I moved to Nashville, he told me it could. Mm. He told me it could happen. Oh, and I chills. And I believed him. And so do you have a favorite song that you've written? That's kind of, Or is that like asking a parent, which is your favorite child? Well, there's, I mean, they are all part of you and you and you want all of your children to do well right but live like you were dying is just has so exceeded any expectations and it's just the I can't even tell you I can't tell you how many stories that Craig and I have heard over the years of people sharing with us what that song has meant to them and even a few years ago just like on a personal note when the NFL draft was here, you know, Tim played down on Broadway. So that was a Friday night. So my son and I, my youngest son, Landon, we were down on one of the rooftop venues. There were 125,000 people lined up down Broadway. And when it got to the chorus, Tim stopped singing. And so 125,000 people were singing Your Live Like You Were song. Dying. And I looked oh. over at my son, Landon, and he was crying. Oh. 
He was crying. What a life! He moment. said, "You got to, you got to stop writing songs so good that make me cry." <laughs> so, as a father, oh. as a dad, I will never, ever forget that. Right. You know, and it's just that, and it's and thanks to that song. Yes. You know, oh. So. Well, I have been so excited to get to spend time with you. We haven't seen each other I hardly know, right? at all yeah. in the last two yeah. years. But you bless every life that you touch. You're a blessing in my life. Um, congrats on the incredible success you've had. And you're still going strong, as am I. We're still <laughs> Absolutely. rocking. Absolutely. Um, so I'd love to end uh, with one question and tell us the title of the most recent song you've written. That would have been the yesterday. Yes, 24 hours ago. Yes, and the title is Still the Same as I Never Was. Still the Same as I Never yes. Was. Yes, So we will have to keep the say. radio on yes. and stay tuned. Right. It's been great. Thank you so great much. To see you. Thanks, Thanks for having me.